dismissed. Even her family, man. What are you talking about? The family of a woman found dead in Asagas Marsh screamed at her boyfriend today after a brief court hearing which provided them with no answers. Sherelle Pringle went on a date with her boyfriend Saturday night but never came home. She was found dead days later, this past Tuesday. WBZ's Lisa Greshi is live in Lynn tonight. Lisa, you were in the courtroom and you learned that boyfriend Bruce Mabin is not charged with murder. And Aridus, he is not facing that charge. And as for Sherelle Pringles, family and friends, they showed up here to Lynn District Court in full force. And the tension in the courtroom wasn't just felt, it was heard. Quiet. Quiet. Justice for Sherelle Pringles. That's who we need to be saying. Never mind him. She's gone before Christmas. Pringles' boyfriend, 44-year-old Bruce Mabin, stepping out in court. Commonwealth versus Bruce Mabin. Coming face to face with dozens of Pringles' family members. A moment defense attorney John Morris was trying to prevent. Because of the identification process. The government doesn't have much to go on. While the DA's office says foul play is suspected in this case. He's not charged with a homicide, I'll tell you that. Mabin is charged with larceny, tampering with evidence, and obstruction. You're all out here today. Y'all should be out here. Look At least a dozen police officers and detectives lined the courtroom walls. We found her. And we want justice. Sherelle Pringle's family consoling one another outside of court. Outraged relatives had to be the ones to discover Pringle's body alongside Route 107 in Saugus Tuesday. I love my sister. I miss my sister. Come I want on, her back. But we found her. Not Not her. What we want to say is that we found her, not the police. As for Mabin, a man the family is convinced knows exactly what happened to Sherelle. He did the wrong thing and is wrong before the holidays. If he did that to your family, wouldn't you want him to pay? He is innocent until proven guilty. He did not kill his girlfriend. He's denying that. Mabin is due back here in court on Tuesday for a dangerousness hearing. As for Sherelle Pringle's death, that is still under investigation. Reporting live here in Lynn for now, Lisa Greshi, WBZ News.